Hi guys, welcome back to Tuna's Travels, and as you can see, we're at a brand new club. So this is Club 9, episode number 1. We're in Wales with Ballatown FC in the JD Simru Premier League. We took over in ninth place, I played one game already. Uh, we lost it, which was against today's opponents, Bangor City. I didn't want to come straight into a new club and do back-to-back -back games against the same team. So I went and played the first one, which we lost 2-1. Thanks to a 90th minute winner from Noah Daly. It was so harsh. He played so well, to be fair. Um, so we're currently sat in the relegation zone with, you saw there, a couple of games left. Uh, does this, he does have a split after 22 games. So we've got three games left to play before we get split. Uh, we're going to be in the bottom half, I imagine. I can't see us getting... Uh, in fact, we can't even finish in the top half. It's We've only got nine points. So, yeah, that is what that is. So today we are going to play Bangor Town. We'll play Barry Town and we'll see how things are going. This season now is just stay up. We need to stay up. Um, and then look at what we can do next season. It started off pretty well. And then all of a sudden, just things changed. And terrible run of form. They haven't won... It's October the 26th, so we need to do something with this club to turn that around, definitely. The cup that we have to win over here is the JD Welsh Cup, where we went out in the third round to Corwin Bay. Um, okay, we haven't had the fourth round yet of that. When was that? Just before we came in, extra time defeat there. I mean, they managed to get a draw against the New Saints. In the last game before I came in, which was a pretty good result to be fair. We were potentially taken over there at one point and they hired Daniel Rogers instead of me. So, yeah. Uh, but let's go and jump into today's game. This is what we're going with today. It's sort of similar formation to what we've seen everywhere. We've got Miller in goal. He hadn't been registered. I've just brought him back into the squad once the registration has opened. And he's the team's best player. So, no idea what happened there. Rees at right back, Willis at left back, Dixon Litchfield in the centre of defence, Cullymore and Falks in centre midfield, Cartwright ahead of them, Valentine and Evans on the wing, and Edwards up top. We do have Gruff Jones, Bannister, and King all in on loan, who are all ineligible to play against the parent club, uh, club, and Craig Evans, who is suspended. So this isn't necessarily our strongest 11, but it's our strongest one available to us. And like I say, after that last game where we were so unlucky to lose in the final minute of the game, I think we can take this to them. This is our derby game as well. This is our biggest rivals in the league. So we need to come out and, you know, stamp our mark on this game. And on this uh, this derby mark match, Bangor City currently sat in third. They still have title hopes. Is a corner for them delivered in, and Williams hits the post, and Waldron taps it in after that. And with 10 minutes in, and we are 1 0 down, not really the start that we wanted at all. Bacon's corner, and Fender missed the header, and then yeah, Willis can't quite block the shot on the rebound. So we're gonna have to come from the goal down if we are to get anything from this game. I suppose the positive is coming in at this point is the transfer window has just opened. So we could potentially do something in that. I don't know who because we can't really scout anyone. Um, Not to the level that I'd like to scout them at least. But we still have plenty of time to try and stay up. But this game is now 2-0 after a fantastic strike from Owain Bridge. And that might be game over to be honest with you. His first goal of the season. And shooting like that, you wonder how he hasn't got more. It was a lovely little football. Bridge coming in off that wing. And rifles home that left foot shot past the goalkeeper. And into the back of the net for 2-0. Yeah, I don't know what we do here. Miller with the goal kick. Evans just doesn't challenge. And now Hesker to bring it forward. And is it going to be free here? Atkinson goes back to Hodgson. He looks over the top. Litchfield head's clear, now Valentine. That's a pretty good ball forward for Edwards. 
who does get there and smashes home just before the goalkeeper. And we're back in this. This is 2-1. I'd wrote off our chances. And yeah, Jamie Edwards with a lovely finish. But what a ball in that was from Valentine. See it better from this angle, to be fair. If it is going to switch just before we see it, it's not going to switch. Fantastic ball in behind. And Edwards just there before the goalkeeper to power it home. Second, I thought he was going to dink him, potentially try and take it round him, but no, it's a great finish. Another corner now, headed clear this time. Valentine's going to get there, and it's two on two. Still Valentine, into the area. Tries to pull it across, and it's cleared out. Willis. He looks forward, and it's headed clear again. And now a chance for Banger to come back at us. But Evans wins it. Looks over the top of Edwards. He's in again. And it's 2-2. And Jamie Edwards has got his second of the game. His seventh of the season. And we've come from 2-0 down after I wrote them off. And this is a fantastic turnaround from us. And Edwards is looking incredibly dangerous every time he gets in. Perhaps the, goal, uh, the referee had a bit to do with that. Ran pretty much into him. But it's a great finish. He thought he was going across him. He goes to that near post. And makes it 2-2, coming up towards half-time. Exactly what we wanted, really. I mean, this is the, uh, the sort of spirit we wanted to see from this team. They, they're showing that they want to fight and stay up. Um, I'm going to tell them the better team and keep doing what we're doing. See if we can grab a winner. And, of course, if Barrytown do get a goal against Cardiff and Met University like that, then we go out of the relegation zone by one point. And now we have a throw in. It's Reese. Valentine flicks it on. It's cleared out. And ideally finds Atkinson. And there could be trouble here. He cuts inside and fires wide in the end. Decent run. He didn't really have the support he perhaps wanted. Let's go and encourage them. And that has gone down pretty well. We'll have to start looking at changes. Pretty soon, Barrytown in a 4 0 up. That has changed massively. Danny Cartwright could come off for of Ryan Jones. Uh, Billy Moore isn't having a great game. Bartlett can come on for him. And Rees at right back is not having a great game either. So Litchfield can go out there. And Kieran Bowley can come on in the centre of defence. So our three changes with 15 minutes to go. We have a free kick. Bartlett delivers. Keeper punches, and now Hodgson to bring it clear. And now it's two on two for Banger. Still Hodgson, he's just taking everyone on. What a tackle that is from Willis. Evans keeps that in. Looks downfield. Edwards knocks it back to Jones, who heads it on for Valentine. There's a lot of power behind that header to get it that far. Valentine crosses in for Edwards for his hat trick. Jamie Edwards, what a header that is. Some back across the goalkeeper for his hat trick. Incredible header. And, uh, well, we're winning the Derby game in just our second game in charge after a late defeat against these last time out. Another incredible ball from Valentine, and that is a sublime header from Jamie Edwards. Keeper probably should have done a bit better there. But we do have the lead. It is a hat trick from Edwards. And now we have a free kick inside our own half. Five minutes left. He finds Evans. Gives it away. Poor ball, to be honest with you. Bartlett out to bridge. Get a tackle in. He looks forward. Dick's head's clear. And now it's Valentine, the assist king himself. Litchfield's to Bartlett. Sensible here. Knocks it forward. Burgess gets it back. Heskiff, can we tackle him? No, it's over the top for Hodgkinson, and it's just wide. And he was on side, so the flag didn't go up. It was a difficult chance. To be fair, the ball didn't really sit down for him as he wanted, but it's a great effort. It's fired wide and we're into the last minute of the game, and this is a massive win for us. Incredible win in the derby, exactly what you want to boost a team. Takes us out of the drop zone up to ninth place. There's now three points between us and Cardiff Met Uni. Um, I mean, the highest we can finish is seventh, obviously, because the league's split in. But we want to put as many wins together as we possibly can. 
and see what we can do for next season. Next season is the aim, of course. So I'm going to go play ahead these next three days until Barry Town. That's going to be the second part of this episode. Okay, so game number two, this is what we're going with today. Miller in goal, King and Willis at the fullback positions, Dixon and Litchfield in the centre of defence, Bannister and Foltz in midfield, Jones ahead of them, with Jones and Evans on the wing and Edwards up top. So we have Ryan Jones and we have Gruff Jones. The two Joneses looking to uh, feed Edwards. And yes, I know it's perhaps a bit harsh on Valentine being dropped after his pretty good game last time out but I've done it and I don't particularly care so no I want him for the the next game we do have all three of these games coming in pretty big uh, pretty quick succession so we do have to rotate every now and again so I've dropped him out for this game as we have an early fee kick from folks who's floated it in this time it's header clear Mullen's going to get there, and now they're streaming forward. Hegarty into the area is tackled, and referee's given a penalty. And, well, it's a penalty. Of course it is. Gibbons against the keeper, sends in the wrong way. 1-0 to Barry Town. I don't know what to say. I don't know how many times we've seen it throughout this series. Pretty good tackle comes in. Wins the ball and then it's a penalty. Go and encourage them. Nice and early. If we can get back into this. Obviously we came from behind last time out. Can we come from behind again this time out? Barry Tanner currently sat in second place uh, coming into this game. Just a point behind TNS. So, I mean, we've been thrown right in the deep end there, really, haven't we? Third, then second, as the throwing is flicked on, and Haggerty probably should have done a bit better there. Instead, it goes into the side netting. And we're going to go into half time, 1 0 down. And um, again, questionable penalty, not much happening in that half. Let's come demand more from them. Straight away, now a corner for Barry Town towards the back post, and it's headed off the crossbar. And Leonard is there to tap home the rebound. And yeah, well, we're 2 0 down again, but with less time this time. So, Gibbons' corner delivered. Good header, to be fair, from Stewart. And it, it sort of hit Miller and just sat there for Leonard to tap home. Bit unlucky. Sometimes it's how it goes. Can we fight back this time? If we can, then clearly that's just our thing. We should just give every team a 2-0 head start and play good from the start. But it's headed clear. Evans goes back to Willis. Who is blocked off. Goes back to the goalkeeper. Then gets it back from the keeper. Finds Evans. Holds it up. Why did he not keep running? And now Haggerty is in again to make it free. Saved by Miller this time. Evans is going to come off for Bishop. And we're going to berate them now. Willis isn't having a great game either. He can come off for... Reese can surely play there. King on the other side as well, fullback, not playing very well. It is Rees on the ball. Butchers play for Jones. He sort of looks forward. I don't really know what the pass was. It was more up in the air than anything else. And now Barrytown had the ball back and coming at us again. Evans gets the crossing. Litchfield heads clear, but he's come back to Evans. Crosses a second time. And, well, that one's gone over. And interesting effort, to be fair. Litchfield can then come off for Bowley. We have a free kick. Edwards. Header clear. If we can get a goal here, then maybe we can snatch a point. And we're not going to do it with a cross like that. Hume easily collecting the ball. 
I make that final change and Dix picks up a knock, of course. Three smashes back forward and Edwards is in. He's taking it around the goalkeeper and he's put it into the back of the net. Of course he has. It's 2-1. It's his ninth goal of the season and four of them have come for us in these last two games. It wasn't a great ball by the goalkeeper. Reese just follies it straight back downfield. Edwards touch takes him around the keeper, gives him an angle and then puts in the back of the net and it's 2-1 and we have a chance here now that chance is gone. As Stuart Stewart, so good they named him twice, goes to make it 3-1 almost instantly. It's another set piece that we've conceded from. Uh, that is one thing I'm going to have to work on is defending set pieces. Keeper gets a hand to it, should have done better with that. And yeah, any hope that we had is snuffed out immediately. And I mean, to be fair, we haven't been good enough. These are a very good team, obviously they're challenging for the title. We're still three points ahead of Cardiff Met Uni, but I'm going to tell them I'm far from pleased with that result. Definitely wasn't quite up to the levels that we had against uh, Bangor. We sort of had some hope for about 45 seconds. Sticks out for two to three days. He will be fine. Uh, for the next game, that is going to be the end of this episode. We are going to come back at some point after the split. I don't know when I sort of see what happens but we will be back before the end of the season if you have enjoyed this please do hit that like button subscribe and ring the bell for more football manager content until next time stay safe i'll see you in the next one